I'm a physician by training. I worked on, uh, I've been working uh, on pharmacology, how drugs work for the last 20 years, and I've been working mostly in, in mice. One thing that we're trying to do is to screen the drugs that are currently out there or drugs that come out in the future and make them safer, and everybody benefits from that. There are two things that are really exciting about uh, using uh, stem cells and pluripotent stem cells in, in, uh, for cardiotoxicity. One is it allows us to grow human heart tissue. We're all uh, very excited about heart research, and I'm sure you are, but if I asked you for a piece of your heart to do uh, our research, you'd probably have, hesitate. Uh, what, we, what we would ask you to do is to uh, essentially have a simple skin biopsy. Let me, let me show you what the scar would look like. Uh, if, if the, this is a, a skin biopsy right here, uh, and, you can, and this is the, the scar that's left, we could actually will probably have smaller scars in, in the future. And, and from this little tiny piece of skin, which is smaller than the head of a pencil eraser, we would be able to grow many thousands and thousands of cells. And then we'd be able to introduce into those cells a set of genes which had been, uh, been shown now to turn those cells into pluripotent stem cells, iPS cells. These are cells that can turn it into, that are, are like embryonic stem cells, but there's no embryo involved. And it's hard to do studies on human neurons, for instance, but this is a way that you can grow human neurons and, and, and test uh, those sorts of things. And, and it's the other thing that we all think about is that certain different drugs act differently on different people. But if we can have uh, IPS cells from a broad range of people and then make those tissues and then expose those tissues to different things that we suspect are problems, I think that we will we'll move forward in terms of this, this, this concept of personalized medicine. I think one of the other things that this allows us to do potentially is if we could develop a human test for cardiotoxicity, we'd not only be testing in human tissues, but we'd also be uh, sparing uh, the, or decreasing the use of, of experimental animals to do that, and that's something that we all think about. Uh, a mouse is actually is, is much, much smaller than, than human, and its heart actually beats at 600 beats per minute as opposed to about 80 for humans. And so it, the dynamics of the heart, the whole, the wiring system for the heart is just totally different uh, than for a human when it comes to the issues that really affect human disease like blood pressure, like uh, heart attacks and, 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 uh, and uh, the arrhythmias, the, the, the beating of the heart. And all of those things are very different in a mouse. And, we, and, and so to be able to study human tissue for which we actually know the human that it came from and we know the phenotype, that in other words, we know the characteristics of that person. So if we make the tissue from, from you and, we, and you have a particular genetic disorder, we can take your tissue and make it directly into heart tissue and study it directly. We're modeling it in human tissue, and that's dramatically different, and uh, it's a real revolution.